Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to make the Bismuth Star and the two machines required for it. The first machine you need is the Cheapfuck 1.1, which needs these items as shown here. And you can use a normal hand drill or a normal screwdriver, but they could break, so I wouldn't recommend it. First thing you have to do is to build this five blocks up. And after that you make a 7x7 square. After doing that you can remove the edges and instead place one block in the middle each. If you are finished with that you just you can just keep right click pressed while drilling off the bottom sides. Now you can just fill everything up with a Chicago pile uranium rod which just needs natural uranium to craft, except for the middle one. And all you need to do to start a reaction is to input a Chicago pile neutron source. And if you've done it correctly it should start smoking from the top and nothing of this will get used up, but if you're done it will look something like this and each of those can be reprocessed into two reactor grade plutonium billets and you get one uranium billet back. The second thing we will be needing is a research reactor and two breeding reactors. First of all you just need to make a hole that is four blocks deep and three by three blocks wide. You could also uh, extend that overground but it's easier to just make it in the floor. So first of all you just place the research reactor in the middle and uh, two breeding reactors on whatever side you want. Then you just cover it up with water and you're basically done with the building. Now comes the not really complicated part but the part that needs like a little bit of experimentating at least for me. You can use mox plate fuel for it which you basically get out of those and you just fill it up with it and after that is done you just put your thorium rods in both reactors and set this to 53% and press on the save button. This will not yet start up because it needs a neutron source so you can just put this in here and in here you need to put this Put. You need to put it in two spaces to be exact. As you can see, if I just put it in here, only those start. And then if I just put it in here, only those start. This will now get over 500 flux, which is eno enough to breed those rods over time. If you stop it at the right time, the depletion should look something like this, so it won't even get fully depleted while breeding all of the thorium fuel. Running the breeding reactor one time gives you more than you need. And to be exact, it gives you four times of what you actually need to run the Bismuth Star. Since you only need 32 thorium fuel billets instead of two whole stacks. Now the rest of the reactor grade plutonium should be enough to make nine medium enriched plutonium fuel rods, which is all you need to fill up the Bismuth Star. Now let's get to the actually exciting thing, building the Bismuth Star. You need these items as shown in the hotbar. You can just pause to see the names and look up the recipes if you don't recognize them by design. But yeah, I'm just going to start. First of all, you need to place one of those in the middle and surround it by four of these. And again, put a few rods around those. Then also, yet again, completely encase those in graphite moderator rods. And on the edges and whatever these are, put more fuel rods. And yet again, encase them in graphite moderator rods. And after that you should completely encase this without leaving like any room to the outside in tungsten carbide neutron deflectors. Now 
Now for the steam channels, you would just need to fill all of this ho all of those holes I left. And place one at the tips for extra cooling. Now with the cover panels, you don't need glass cover panels, you can use the normal ones. And also, you don't need to put them on those. You can put them on those, but you don't need to. So I'm just not going to do it to show you the more cheap version. Now, you need to make sure that everyone, and actually every single Steam channel, is set to the maximum of Steam compression. You can see this little thingy here and every time you click it gets one lower and it needs to be on the lowest. What you need to do now is to hook up a lot of water to the undersides of the steam channels. And they should fill up. On the top side you need to make basically the same placing but instead with ultra dense steam fluid ducts. After that, you need a cooling tower and exactly 8 industrial steam turbines. Now you place them somehow like this. And the third one needs to be doubled and the last one needs to be quadrupled. In this you would need to put the ultra dense steam fluid identifier which makes it output super dense steam which also needs to be fluid identified in here and basically this just goes on like this for a bit until we get to normal steam which doesn't need to be fluid identified in those because they are already set to normal steam but you still need to fluid identify those fluid ducts and it will output low pressure steam which you would also need to flu fluid identify. Behind that you can just put a cooling tower which will intake the low pressure steam and output water. So you would also need to hook it up to this. Behind this you can just place cables and hook it up to your existing energy system but it will produce quite a lot amount of energy so you would need a good energy storage. Maybe not this one but at least the Schrabidium one. You may now insert the uh, fuel rods and to be exact the THMU fuel rods come into those and the rest can just be filled up with medium and rich plutonium fuel rods. This will lose a lot, uh, a little bit of water in the first few minutes, but it should stabilize after some time. This is how much energy it makes, but that's not the main focus of this one, but instead it's the waste it produces. And this is what you get if everything in there depletes, which can be used in the silex to get a lot of bismuth. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful in any way. If it was, please like and subscribe. If it wasn't, uh, please do it anyways. Bye!